first john chapter 5 verse 12 he who has the son has the life of the son he who doesn't have the son doesn't have the life of the son chapter 5 verse 18 first john 5 18 he who keeps up the lord though there was hot water in this still it is hot so when i hold on that heat comes to me outside it is so those who keep those who keep the lord with himself they experience the warmth of the lord the life of the lord the protection of the lord all that of the lord becomes them read please read first john 5:18 We know that those who are born of God do not sin, but the one who was born of God, one who is born of God, one who is attached to God, ah, uh, protects them. Ah, uh, and the, the Lord e- protects them. The Lord's protection becomes theirs. The Lord's love becomes theirs. The Lord's warmth becomes theirs. Today, most of the people are dying in loneliness. Many people are dying in loneliness. why because they are dying in their sin why lot of people are dying and they are dying in their sin there is nobody to care for them they think we are lonely they are disturbed why because they are not in the lord those who are in the lord they are being built to by the lord and the power of the lord become theirs the glory of the lord becomes theirs the deliverance of the lord becomes theirs and they are being delivered amen yes he who has the lord possess all that of the lord and when you possess the lord's light can the darkness come near no the darkness will run away that's why it says those who are born of god they are kept up by the lord and the enemy and the evil one does not touch them and the evil one cannot touch them hallelujah 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. so he who has the lord cannot be touched by the enemy he who has the lord and possess the all that of the lord praise the lord Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 That's why we read in the book of Hebrews chapter 1 verse 1 onwards in the time God has spoken in a partial way and now he has spoken to us through his only son Jesus. In now he has spoken through his son Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, in the last days God has spoken through his son Jesus Christ. He has spoken through his son Jesus Christ. And verse 3, who is the power of glory? Who is the source of glory? Who is the source of the strength? Who is the source of heavenly gifts? so when we join with him the peace of god becomes ours those who give themselves to god they possess all that of god rest of the mankind live in the world live in their own selfishness live in their own loneliness live in their own sin those who come into the lord they receive that the lord that's why he who bears everything he who bears everything learn people realize god bears them when you come into the lord you experience one who bears everything he is part of you and he bears you he holds on to you he wipes away your sin he carries you that's why in the book of exodus he said i have carried you on eagles wings i will care for you 
all the days of your life yes he will carry us like the eagle carries its young at once yes that's why john 1:12 for all those accept him he gives them the power not only to come out of the evil not only to come out of the sickness not only to throw away the evil forces but to become the children of god to share in the glory of god to share in the power of god and in this retreat that's what jesus says all those who are tired come to me give your burden what are the burdens which the enemy has placed on you read a beautiful word book of isaiah chapter 9 verse 4 for the yoke of their burden for the yoke of their burden and the bark across their shoulders the rod of their oppressor you have broken as on the day the of the lord is breaking those burdens those obstacles the enemy has placed on the shoulder of his people today what are the burdens what are the yoke which the enemy has put into your life that you are not able to bear that you are not able to move on in life the lord is coming to break them he will break all those barriers amen that's why he said all those who are tired come to me give your yoke to me i will break them amen and give you my peace amen hallelujah 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 the lord is calling us the lord is calling us psalm 138 Verse 7 says like this Psalm 138 verse 7 Though I walk in the midst of trouble you preserve me against the wrath of my enemies Though I die amidst many destructive forces many sickness many problems you will free me from all that yes You stretch out your hand you will stretch out your hand upon me and your right hand delivers me and your right hand delivers me lift up both the hands are you thrown away in all kinds of yoke not able to move on the yoke is pressing you down jesus is coming yes father in my life i see you are a god who walks with me because you live i will face tomorrow because you live all my fear is gone because i know you hold my future and life is worth living just because you live 